Next up is switching losses. And this was a, a couple slides ago when I mentioned that, you know, as we turn that switch on, we have a, a non-zero voltage and a non-zero current that are overlapping. And we get this kind of inrush of power during turn on and turn off. Now, if we remember, um, these inverters are turning on and off thousands of times per second, which means we have thousands and thousands of these little blips of loss. Again, there's a couple way we couple ways we can calculate this. Um, first of all, we've already characterized the switches, so you know we we did our homework and we said, all right, I took a scope or, or, or a high speed data acquisition system. I clipped it to my switch. I figured out what the energy loss of on and the energy loss of off are. From there, I can say, okay, my switching frequency times my energy on times my energy off. That's my turn on, turn off losses. As long as I'm tracking frequency, um, I could have a temperature model for this energy loss. I, I know what my, my losses are. Not perfect, but, but again, it's a, it's a simple model we can implement really easily into a, a real-time um, estimation. Things get a little trickier when, when again, we want to go into the really high details, but, but fortunately there are answers for that. And again, we can measure that directly across the switch. If you're measuring the current across the switch and you're measuring the voltage across the switch, um, you can start to measure, all right, what is that instantaneous power loss? And then you're just, again, calculating I times V. Really simple. Um, this is an important thing to, to characterize because our losses are going to increase or decrease with frequency. Uh, more switches means more turn on periods, more turn off periods, more losses. So we also have to consider that the slower these switches turn on or slower they turn off, the more losses we're going to have. Because of that time period, this turn on time, or excuse me, I should circle the right area. Because of this turn on time, the longer that turn on is, the longer we have losses. So with more modern technologies, we're getting faster and faster switches that have shorter turn on times and shorter turn off times. Those are gonna decrease our losses. So really understanding how we operate the switch, understanding the energy loss per switch, um, or directly measuring are, are ways we can characterize switching losses. Um, so, okay, we've gone over conduction losses, those are I squared R. We've gone over switching losses, that's a little bit of energy loss per switch. 